the genetic testing is the basis of the diagnosis of a 5Q SMA. In the years before, the drugs like Lucinersen uh, was available. Not uh, in every case uh, genetic testing has been performed, especially when patients have uh, a long uh, term uh, of, uh, of diagnosis, um, uh, because uh, at that time it has no consequence of treatment and uh, often um, a diagnosis was made uh, by their symptoms uh, in addition to some electrophysiologic diagnostics. But now, uh, since treatment is available, we need the, the confirmation that it is really a 5Q SMA. The classical test is uh, the multiplex uh, ligand analysis, the MLPA, to detect the deletion of the SMN gene and to detect the copy number of the, the SMN2 gene. Uh, and beside that classical test, uh, test can also be uh, performed out of a dry spot blood test. So these are the common uh, tests that are available. In most cases, you have a homozygous deletion of the SMN1 gene, but there are a few cases who are um, compound heterozygous. So you have a deletion on one L of the SMN1 gene and a point mutation um, on the other uh, L. And uh, the SMN2 number, uh, the SMN2 copy number, determines uh, the severity of the disease. So there is a good correlation. Uh, with increasing copy number towards a less severely impaired patients. And typically you have, uh, for example, two SMN2 copies in a SMA type 2 patient and four SMN2 copies in a SMA type 3 patient. And this is a correlation in approximately 80 to 90%. But there are also other patients uh, in which you don't have that correlation. Possibly we have some then other genetic modifiers.